All right. Husband, so helpful. Better him than me, because I can't. Snow is not my jam. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. What's up, YouTube family? So, today marks week two of us being in the temporary house. And... It doesn't seem like we're going to be getting in there anytime this week. Or at least not until like the end of the week. And I think I'm going to go this way. I don't feel like walking up this hill, but I also don't feel like getting caught in traffic. Oh. But yeah. When I went this morning to go get our warm clothes from the house, like they've done a lot. Like the ceiling is put back up, the walls in the kitchen are put back up, but neither of the light fixtures in the kitchen are back together. It's just like the wires hanging from the ceiling. And then, uh, let me stop using the windshield wipers before I scratch up my windshield. But the wires are just hanging from the ceiling. And then in the bathroom upstairs where it was leaking, it's the toilet is still gone, completely gone. They completely removed the toilet. And then the, I don't know what you call it, like the vanity where the sink and stuff would be, that's inside of the bathtub where they like completely picked it up and just put it in the bathtub. So I guess they're redoing the floor still and everything. So it just, it doesn't seem like we'll be getting in this week, which I mean, I guess is okay, but I just, I really, I want to get back into the house to like finish unpacking everything to finally be able to make it look like a home is this temporary house stuff like having to go back and forth to get stuff as you need it like i'm i'm over it <sighs> let me go walk up this hill <sighs> it's just like it is a very uncomfortable feeling to not be in your own ho house with your stuff <laughs> very uncomfortable but again since we're in a temporary house like they do like pay you which I was unaware of until I got like the little paper that they give you which basically states that like if it takes them a week to fix your house then they give you $300 if it takes them two weeks to fix your house then they give you an additional $300 for the second week so forth and so on but like at this point I just want my own bed back like, that's all I want because I don't know like how their cleaning process is with this temporary houses like if it's up to the tenant to clean the house before they leave or if they have somebody else come in and clean it up but our temporary house is like covered in dog hair we can't go a day without picking dog hair out of Thomas and Theo's heads every morning because it is everywhere in the couch. Like, it's just, we can't get rid of it. Like, we just have to go through the whole entire house with a limp brush because the people who were there before us, they let their dog be on everything. And it has long white hair. Like, it's just, it's annoying. Ugh. Should I take an umbrella? Like, now I feel like it's coming down like rain. Screw it. I'm going to take an umbrella. Let me get up this hill. Um, no, you can try to take a... Uh... My gracious. That's a lot of snow. I promise you all holiday weekend long. 
it was hot. And then out of nowhere, we got a winter weather advisory, and overnight we got snow. Yay! That means it has to be snowing at Mama's house too. No, I don't think so. We got mommy. New Jersey gets a lot of things, but snow in September is not mommy, one of them. The computer's working. Good morning, YouTube family. So it did it. The one thing that I was dreading happened. It snowed. And it's not a lot, like, don't get me wrong, but I just don't like snow, period. Like, just two things I hate to be are cold and wet at the same time, and that is exactly what snow does. And so, I just hate it. On site, I hate snow. But it snowed. In September, y'all, like, Colorado has some crazy weather. Like, this is insane. It is September and there is snow on the ground. You can't even really see the mountain anymore. Like, the whole sky is just gray. Like, it's a very dreary day today. So I got my winter coat on, broke out the boys, gloves, hats, all that good stuff. Like, winter gear is in full effect. And this woman is just walking around with nothing but a sweater. Bless your heart. But I can't do it. Um, so I'm sorry about yesterday. I know it was just like a snippet of a video, but once the weather started going bad, I just, I couldn't, I didn't do anything else. So yesterday is just what y'all got. But right now I'm about to go grocery shopping because we are out of food, both at the old house and at the new house. So I have to go grocery shopping. My third most hated thing to do is grocery shop so today we're trying Safeway before we went to Walmart we've done Sam's Club but today we're going to try Safeway because that's like their I guess their chain market out here I suppose I wish it wasn't Aldi's but they don't have any at all anywhere near here. I think the closest one is in like the next state. <sighs> Unfortunately. Oof. Really don't want to get out of this car. Like I had to go back to the house this morning to try to look to see if I could find like some boots for all of us. Because the boys had to send my babies to school today and nothing but some sneakers with some ankle socks. Because that's all we had. Like, it was 91 for, like, the whole month. And now all of a sudden it's snow and we're barely hitting 50. <sighs> I gotta get them longer socks. But anyway, I tried to find us some boots. I couldn't find any except for, like, our rain boots. And if you have rain boots, then you know that they're good for rain. But for everything else, keeping your feet warm, all of that, they're trash. But they'll do in a pinch. But all right, let me get in this market so that I can get the food and get back home to the warmth.
y'all i made it don't mind my gloves either like <laughs> don't you hate when like you start talking and then all of a sudden people are all staring off in your vehicle but my nails are the stiletto ones so they're sticking out of my gloves but listen oh wait there we go I had to rest my hands on the heater like I am so cold but Safeway isn't too bad it kind of reminds me of like Kroger But they have a Starbucks inside. Like, they're real fancy. Ugh. It is just freezing. And I guess the Colorado people are used to this kind of weather because they're in shorts and short sleeve shirts and whatnot. And I was talking to the cashier and she was like, oh, you're from Jersey. You should be used to this. I hate cold in any state. So, used to nothing. <sighs> but okay. I have to go get gas. And then we have to go to Walmart. Because when I got the boys' coats from the house, I couldn't find their hat and glove sets. And I know they have them. I just couldn't find it. And the only one that I could find was Theo's. So... I gotta go get Tom Tom a hat. I found him a random pair of gloves, but I didn't find him a hat. So if I can't find him a set, I at least need to find him a winter hat. Thankfully, he had on a hoodie and his coat, so he just put his hood up. And then the hood to the coat. But still, I need to get my baby a hat. And then we should be able to go home. I think. Y'all, I have never seen such in all my life, but... For this to be Colorado, and they're talking about this weather is the norm for them. They only have one hat. And it comes with like little mittens, but they're like Theo size mittens. I don't even know if y'all can see them. They're itty bitty. But thankfully, my baby already has gloves. I just needed the hat. But this was the only winter hat they had. The only one. baby was about to be SOL. One winter hat. And I mean, isn't winter right around the corner? Like, Dollar Tree is already putting out winter stuff. I only got one winter hat. I don't know. Originally, Tom Tom asked for a Black Panther hat and I told him I'd look for one and I didn't lie because I looked they just didn't have it <sighs> and I guess since I'm right here I might as well run into Sam's <sighs> that's really honestly I kind of don't feel like it gonna go inside to see if there's anything inside of Sam's that we need before I go in the house because I'm not coming back out until it's time to go get the boys. <laughs> Nobody's here. <laughs> Kids are still in school. Husband had the morning off from work, but I guess the afternoon he had to go in. So 
Now he's not here, and it's just me and a trunk full of groceries in the back. Oh, goodness. I'm tempted to leave it all in the trunk and just wait until there are more hands to help me. But, I mean, it's cold enough where I could get away with it. But I also want to put everything away in the right place before everybody else comes home and they just throw it wherever. (sighs) Oh, goodness. All right, come on, Dre. You should be used to this. Taking in the groceries by yourself ain't nothing new. I'm just going to go put everything away. Give me a second. All right, so here we are. I feel like a lifetime later. But everything is set up. Um, So we'll start with produce. Got oranges for Tom Tom's lunch. And then Theo just likes to eat them for snack. Some romaine hearts. And the produce. Actually, a lot of this food came from Safeway. And I'll let y'all know what came from Sam's. And yeah, that was the only other place I bought food. But yeah, romaine hearts for me. And then... My salsa, this is how Safeway's salsa comes in this little container. But their salsa, I hope it's as good as the other ones. And then I got pineapple, strawberries, um, some red potatoes. And that pretty much sums up our produce section. And then moving on to here. Um, some pizza rolls and chicken nuggets because honestly these two things are all Theo eats he went to his doctor's appointment the doctor was saying like he needs to eat more vegetables listen sir you don't live in our house you don't know him like that this is all he eats so I also got some heavy cream um Moving here, some french fries for the boys. I mean, and these are the best fries to get. If you're going to get french fries, it might as well be these. Um, and then I got myself some salmon fillets. And here we have cheese for when we have taco night. Um, for when I make myself some Alfredo later. And then cheese for when my husband makes his sandwiches. Lunch meat for when Tom Tom and my husband make their sandwiches. Um, Taco seasoning, taco shells. And then, I don't know, should we continue with the condiments or stay with the box stuff? We'll just go with the condiments. So we got ketchup, some tomato sauce. Because that is the one thing we don't have. Like at the other house, we have boxes and boxes and boxes of pasta. But no tomato sauce. So I just figured two cans should last us. Hopefully we'll be back in the other house by the time we use those two cans. And then mayo for the sandwiches. Barbecue sauce because the men in my house put that on everything. And then I got canned um, olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. And I'm planning on using it for when I like try to fry stuff in the air fryer. I want to see if that works. I've been hunting YouTube and that's pretty much what everybody uses when they fry something in the air fryer. So I'm going to try it. And then I got this Tony Shash. I hate his last name because I can't say it. But y'all know who I'm talking about. I got his little fish fry mix for the fish that I want to fry up. And then... Some Rice Krispie Treats. It's like the boys' afternoon snack. It's also my husband's snack. He steals it when they're not looking. And then I just got some juice. I think this one's like pink lemonade. And then this one, some green. They'll drink it. And then some tortilla chips in the back for taco night again. Then we're going to move 
over to the meat portion. So my pepperoni that I snack on, some kielbasa, because you can never go wrong with having some kielbasa on hand, like breakfast, dinner, it serves many purposes. And then this, well, let me move the bacon out of the way because this was separate, but I got some bacon. But then this pack here was from Safeway and it was like $20 for these four different meals in it is what they call it. Yeah, multi-meal pack. So we have some beef chuck, steak fins, and then these big old hunks of chicken that are nicely seasoned with some chicken breast thins, thin slices, and then I think this is pork. So it says it's like a multi-meal, but this can last you for a nice amount of time, like all of that. So I got that and it only cost 20 bucks. And then I also got milk. And I have never seen them in a bag this big in the store before, but these are my favorite chips ever. And normally you can only find them in like the corner store for like a 35 cent bag, but they had a huge bag in there. So I got them. I love them so much. All right. So then milk, my favorite cereal because everybody else has enough of their favorite cereal, but I ran out of mine. And then from Sam's, so that was everything from Safeway. And then moving on to Sam's, I got our Splash Flavor Water. The boys take that to school. Since they can't use the water fountains, they have to come with their own water for the entire day. So I send them with a bottle of that. And little known fact, Thomas is eight and he still calls this juice. Like, I had been telling him that it was juice since he was a baby because I never gave him any other kind of juice and he still considers this water juice. And I have yet to correct him. All right. But then last things from Sam's, hot dogs. And I wanted to try these Angus cheeseburgers. Like, they sell the chicken sandwiches, like pre-made type situations and all you have to do is throw them in the microwave but I had bought them once before when we were in Jersey and I was the only person who ate them so I figured I would try the burger so see if Thomas would like those see if the boys would eat them you get 10 for like $15 and some change so we're gonna try those and yeah that is everything All right, guys, so all the food is put away. Um, I kind of know what we're having for dinner. I took out ground beef, so it'll most likely be tacos. Most likely. And then Theo doesn't eat tacos, so he'll most likely get pizza bites. Listen, I've also discovered today, like it just came to me just out of nowhere. It was like an epiphany in the supermarket. But... Grocery shopping isn't hard. Like, that's mostly why I hate it, because I feel like it takes forever, and you got to pick and decide what you want. But it dawned on me that grocery shopping really isn't that hard. It's my family that makes it hard. Because Theo only eats certain things, and then their dad is picky with his food, and he only eats certain things. So then I'm trying to, like, pick out food based on everybody's little diets, and... They make it hard, but that's just the revelation that came to me in the market, and it is so true. It is so very true. I should start charging them to grocery shop because it is a job, and I feel like personal chefs and maids and stuff, they get paid. Like, I should be compensated for how much I have to struggle. But anyway, husband came home. I don't even know if y'all can hear him downstairs. He's on his video game 
Call of Duty or something. But he brought me lunch. So I don't know, maybe that's my payment. That's our trade-off. I grocery shop and he brings me food. I don't know. But anyway, we'll do a proper send-off this time. Please make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe so you don't miss anything dealing with my family's crazy shenanigans. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh, oh, your lovers